What is good friends, back in my tournament coverage, this time Little Big Planet versus Eternum. No idea who this guy is, but he brings a Mega Heracross team with, that has to be Spadef Budo to de help him with the um, Ash Greninja and with the Alakazam matchup. Rocks Heatran, Defog either on the Glyph score or the Coco. On Eternum's side, it's most likely Bandit, Crawdont, Mega Lopani. Um, either AV Tangrowth or AV Megiana. If it's AV Tangrowth, then it would probably be Zim of Megiana. Or if it's AV Megiana, then it could be Zim of Garchomp. So turn one here, if Little Big Planet is Sugarberry, he can stay in and go for HPIs. Otherwise, I would potentially switch out. And Eternum might just get up the rocks turn one because um, Garchomp, can, Garchomp can probably live any one hit from Coco. Specs Coco isn't really used anymore at the moment in OU. They either Z move or. Uh, well, even Shuka is kind of low in usage right now. We've seen the leftovers Devox set a little bit as well in OU. But yeah, um, the Weavile on Little Big Planet side. Could be Scarf or Bandit, I'm not sure what it is. We have also seen some Weavile teams in the past use that just don't have a Scarf, so it could also be Bandit. Uh, Mega Heracross looks annoying to switch into, but yeah, on the other side, if Eternum is able to get rid of the Crawdon, then uh, is able to get rid of the Bulu, then his Crawdon goes completely in on the other team, is what I'm trying to say. So if this Garchomp is a SD Zim of Garchomp, which um, I think it's probably not from that damage because that did 54, making me think that it's probably Tank Chomp with rocks of Quake, Fire Blast, and um, Raw. Raw is used to like phase out sub Zygarde and stuff like that. So um, if he has U turn, he can click that here because the Eternum is most likely going to switch out. And even if the Guard Chomp stays in, U turning here is a fine play, in my opinion. Um, I mean, it's, he's like likely to switch out, and if you get that right, and you get um, the U-turn on the Tangrowth, but that is probably gonna come out on the Coco. And then you can get your Heracross in. I don't think he would want to go into Weavile because rocks are up. But yeah, what I was trying to say is, if this is SD Rockium Garchomp, which it, it's probably not from the damage, that would have been amazing to potentially lure the Tapu Bulu in, because plus two Rockium occurs that, or like just in general Poison Jab or some lure. So that U-turn does 23, which means um, the Coco is definitely timid, not attack invested, if I if I have my head cult correct. So it's probably max special attack, which means the Garchomp was tank chomp, most likely with helmet. And that means um, this damage uh, also means it's probably AV Tangrowth. And yeah, now if um, Heracross comes out, Tornadoes cannot really switch in well either, because it can potentially go for Rock Blast. Um, I think Eternal might just have to sack the Garchomp when the Heracross comes out because he doesn't really have a great switch in. Uh, yeah, Weaver can, can come out here, but he has checks for that in Megiana. And uh, also, he would take rocks if he goes in the Weaver here. Um, yeah, Garchomp is at 46, so I think he's gonna throw that in on the incoming Heracross, most likely. Yeah, that's the Heracross. And yeah, I mean, what do you click here? CC is a potential play, but I don't know. You could also click Pin Missile. I think Pin Missile, Pin Missile is also a good play because he's not going to stay in with the Tangrowth anyway, even though Pin Missile would also hit that. But I think he's just going to sack the Garchomp and Pin Missile would kill that without taking Rocky Hammer plus Rough Skin. And since the Garchomp was uh, most likely Tank Chomp, Megina is probably Z-Move Offensive and there's no way he's going to go hard into Megina when Megina can potentially win this game for him. Um, if it has like Focus Blast plus Z Flurken to hit like focus best for Tran, Z, Flurken, or like regular Flash can to hit Bulu. Megina can go completely in, so that there's no way he's gonna go Megina ever, so that's why I would go for Pin Missile. I also don't think he's gonna risk his Torn when his Garchomp is already weakened. So it is um, Sub, so now he can go for Pin Missile, I think, yeah. I mean, he went for Sub first, which was also a fine play because it um, eased prediction for him, because he could just see what he turn and goes out into, and then he can could click a coverage move afterwards. Though, um... Sub made it so he lost some health, which means if his Bulu now gets weakened, Lopani becomes a really huge problem for Little Big Planet. I probably should run some calcs um, from how much Lopani does versus Bulu. Um, I'm gonna assume that it's the Bulu that runs a little bit of defense investment, because he's also kind of weak to Mega Swampert. Um, there's like a French Bulu spread with like 68 or whatever in defense. I don't remember the exact spread. Um, the calculator doesn't have, does not have that set, so gonna have to type it in. So now Megina is mostly gonna come out here for a turn. And um, obviously he cannot stay in with Heracross or Megina as it's most likely gonna be a Shift game again on the set. Either Shift gets your text or Shift your comment. And I think he would be forced to go into Heatran. Uh, Heatran has probably lefties on his team and then I don't know what the Zemo user is. The Zemo user could be probably either the Bulu or the Coco, one of the two. 
The co like the Bulu can either be a leftovers protect variant with Holnich as the superpower, or it can also be Z move instead of leftovers. Um, if it's Z move, it would run synthesis over protect. It just depends on what it wants to. Like it just depends on the Bulu set. But yeah, I want to run some cult with low Pony versus Bulu later, so I'm gonna open that already. So yeah, he's forcing the heat train here. I think um, he's probably Spadef Tran, which should be able to at least live one focus blast. Um, so the potential player for Eternum is doubling out. Um, what do we double out into? I think you can double into low Pony here, because low Pony is actually quite threatening. Um, since he has rocks up, like he can try to double around a bit. Like maybe double into low Pony breaking trend here. That would then force um, Little Big Planet to probably go Bulu. If Bulu can t switch into low Pony. Um, the Kalk says that I have opened that low Pony does 42 to 50 to Bulu. Um, would return if Bulu has 60 defense, which I just assumed it has. So with leftovers and with grassy terrain, Bulu can still switch into low pony once at the moment. Even with rocks up, because rocks get cancelled out by grassy terrain plus leftovers recovery. So, but doubling into low pony still kind of forces him to go into Bulu. So you could potentially double into low pony here, and then potentially double again into tornadoes. And yeah, like if you double around a bit and make him take rocks damage, that can be good. Though if Bulu and Tren both have leftovers, Grassy Tren plus leftovers will just cancel out the, the recovery, the, the rocks damage they take, I mean. So maybe um, it would be better if he has a coverage move for Heatran to go for that. If he has Z Focus Blast, I hope he clicks it right here and bops the Heatran on the switch. Um, otherwise, regular Focus Blast is also an option. He goes for T-Bolt, okay. Um, T-Bolt makes me think it's probably three attacks. It could also be Bolt Beam, but I think it's probably three attacks. Um, with T-Bolt and, I don't know, Flurken or Flashken. And probably with Fox Blast. But yeah, it's a bulky leftovers trend. At least max HP and might also have some Spadef investment. I don't know the exact calc. I'm not gonna calc every single hit. So you can either go for Lava Plume or for Rocks here. Um, goes hard into Crawl Breaking Rocks. Does not get burned, thankfully. That was risky. And Lava Plume was a good play, I think, for sure. Since Garchomp went down. Like, what? Like even if Garchomp was still alive, Lava Plume can burn the switch ins that were either Crawl or Low Pony. So now I think he just clicks Crab Hammer here because. Crab Hammer hits everything the hardest. Um, now we will see if it's leftovers or if it's um, not leftovers. It's not leftovers, so I think it's Z move Bulu, which means it's probably Synthesis as the Superpower Horn Leech. And yeah, either Z All Out Pummeling or Z Horn Leech. Huh. So Tangress comes out and threatens Bulu with a potential Sludge Bomb, so Little Big Planet is gonna switch here. What's he gonna switch into? He could go into Glisco or into Heracross, though um, I think he turn might knock off your Brady the potential switch. Because there's no way he's gonna st stay in on a potential sludge bomb. Because if he loses the Bulu, then the Crawdon goes in, and also the low pony destroys him if he loses the Bulu. The only way, he the only thing he has to outspeed the low pony is Ice Shot from Weevil if he's Bandit, or if he's Scarf Weevil, then I guess he can also um, outspeed it and Ice could crash it. If he does go into um, Glisk or predicting a sludge bomb, and he just wanted to get a defog off. HPI is gonna do a lot, obviously. He could also potentially Giga Drain. I think this turn he could just Giga Drain. Um, the only reason he wouldn't stay in here is if he's fearing the Heracross to come out, yeah. Yeah, like... I think you can Giga Drain here because it's Grassy Drain boosted, but the double also makes sense. He doubles in a Torn, there's a Roost. And um, now... Well, a little bit plant might just stay in and roost again, or he might go into either the Coco or the um, Heatran. He doubles into Low Pony, I think, predicting him to switch into most likely the Heatran or into the Coco. I think Low Pony naturally outspeeds Coco, right? So he doesn't even scout for Ice Punch. What is this guy doing? Oh, I'm really confused. He just stayed in with his Glisco, and he's like, okay, let me stack it to Ice Punch. Um, I mean, Glisco is not Glisco is not that great anymore, I guess, but. Since like he got already got rid of the rocks with default list score. Um that's bad for a turn that his Lopani is getting weakened though, because Lopani is looking like a huge problem for a little big planet if the Bulu gets weakened a bit. Lopani could have potentially destroyed him because the Heracross is already already weakened. And now um I think he might have to go Weewile. If Heracross loves a hit, he can also go to that. He goes in a Weewile. Now if he's scarf, he can Click another move that is not Ice Shot, but if he's Bandit or Life of Ye uh, which, um, yeah, like Bandit, then he has to click Ice Shot. Um, Eternum is not gonna stay in here. Uh, Pursuit will also be a heat play, knowing that he's gonna switch. Because uh, Megena is most likely Z move, yeah, it comes out on a Z move. Wow, um, he went for a knockoff and not for Ice Shot, so he's definitely Scarf. <laughs> Hello. 
Yeah, I mean, it makes some sense because his team is slow and he, this helps with the Alakazam matchup. Because the Bulu doesn't even have leftovers, which means can get worn down quite fast. Now, he's obviously forced to switch out. I was gonna say into either Heatran or Bulu. He focused Blast Break in the Heatran. Damn. And now, um, is he gonna scout for Flash Cannon and go Heatran now? Or is he just gonna... Yeah, yeah, he scouts for Flash Cannon and goes in the Heatran. So he makes a good play right there, because earlier he was kind of clicking weird plays that I don't get. He just... I don't know if he, like, didn't care if the Lopunny had Ice Punch, or... I mean, Ice Punch isn't that common in Lopunny anymore, I guess. Or he also just went hard Gliss score on, <laughs> on the knockoff, like, super fast, when it was, like... I mean, to me, it was really obvious that the Turnum was not gonna click Sludge Bomb there, even if he has it. Because, um, like, why would... He wouldn't... He was never staying in with the Bulu on the Tangrowth. And also, I don't know if I talked about that yet, but earlier ta he could not afford to sack the Tangrowth when the Heracross was out earlier in the game. Gets the Lava Plume burn there. Um, the knockoff was cool to get rid of the lefties. Now, if he doesn't have U-turn, he's gonna hard switch as he hard switches into Crawdon, which risks the burn, so hopefully no burn here. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe you guys can tell, but I'm rooting, rooting for Eternum. So now, I think you just click Crab Hammer again, or you could double into um, Megina as well if he has a coverage move to hit this. Let's just go for Crab Hammer. Well, this kind of forces him to go for Synthesis, and this also gives Crawdon some recovery back, which is good. So that way he can live a Lava Plume easier. Um, so, I guess, oh, he went, is that a roll? If that was a roll, I can understand, oh, he just predicted into synthesis, and he got more grassy terrain. It's a risky play there, but it worked. Um, I mean, he knew that he would go for synthesis there, so I can't even hate on him for that play. That was just expert to get some grassy terrain back and waste another synthesis. Now, Magina, uh, yeah, I was gonna say either Magina or Torn would have to come out. I mean, this definitely has flash can if it comes out on the Bulu. I wonder what the Z-move is, um... He already showed T-Bolt, right? So, but I don't think it's the T-Bolt. This team has like Crawdon, which can destroy packs with Bannon knockoff. It has Torn Tornadoes, um, also knock on that for packs. It also has Pivots for packs, so I don't think it's the T-Bolt. And he sets up on this, so it definitely has... Okay, is it all up pummeling? Oh, it is all up pummeling. I wasn't sure if it's all up pummeling or Horn Leech, but if he went for it, um, probably was pummeling because... I don't think he would see Horn Leech this. I guess he could. He could also see Horn Leech. But yeah, the pummeling definitely made more sense in that scenario. And now, um, I guess we're gonna see a Flash Can or maybe a Z Flur Can here. Ooh, it's Z Flash Can, Bob. Well, yeah, regular Flash Can probably would not have killed. So, um, yeah, he set up on this, so it made sense that he would have Z Corkscrew Crash. I just didn't think about it because it's not that common. But yeah, it was really clutch. And now, um, he, he just. If he has. I don't know the Calx here. If he has Flurkan, that's obviously gonna Oko the Coco. But I don't think Little Big Planet can afford to pivot out into Heatran here, because he exactly. I was just gonna say that he can just hard flash can to tweet KO the Coco. Um, also he doesn't have he doesn't have Flurkan, my bad guys. He already showed Shift Gear, T Bolt, Z Flash Can, and Focus Blast. He already showed his entire moveset. He does not have Flurkan. I just mixed up there. Yeah. So Flash Can was always the play to tweet KO. And now we while um it's gonna go for knockoff or icicle crash. Probably knockoff because you don't want to risk missing in this scenario. So he could definitely save the Megiana here. He can he can save it as fodder if he wants to, but he might just sack it. Um, yeah, we will obviously. Out Does we will outspeed? Yeah, it's scarf. We will definitely outspeeds. What am I saying? Um, I think there's other scarvers like scarf katana. I think also outspeeds Megiana after shift gear. So scarf we will definitely outspeed. So he's really click knockoff here. Yes, he predicts um, him to either go for knockoff or like pursuit right there and goes hard into Tangrowth. Knowing that he's not gonna go for the ice move. So now um, Heracross can probably come out. So does he want Hera or Hedron is gonna come out? So do you put a double here predicting the Heracross? Um, if he gets a little bit more chip on Heracross, that will also bring it in range from Aqua Jet from Crawdon. Um, if it was already in range from Crawdon's Aqua Jet, then another potential player would be double the Crawdon. Um, I mean, I could also just see him going for some chip on the Heracross, as he does just... I mean, Earthquake would have killed the Tren, and it gets some chip on the Heracross. I mean, I was trying to think about a double that covered the Tren and the Heracross, but um, I guess Lopani... Yeah, I think Lopani could have been a good double. But since the Lopani was so low, and if the Weeble stayed in there, the Lopani would have probably died to knock off. 
So that's why he didn't make that play. Now Pimus is obviously gonna kill this even if it's resisted, that crit did not matter. So he just had to sack something there, he didn't have a switch and either had to sack the Torn, the Megina or the Tang. And now Lopani, I'm gonna run the Kalk. If, if Frustration kills, he can go for that, but I think he might have to go for Fake Out first. Um, why am I so bad at Kalking today? Goes for Healing Wish. Ooh, that's weird, that's weird. So what is he gonna be Healing Wish back? Megina is like the only one that is super low, it's at 9% if I recall correctly. But yeah, Return would have done 50 to 59 to Heracross. Um... I'm really s a bit confused by that healing wish play, but I don't think he had to make that play. I'm probably missing something, but um, what is he gonna do now? He's either gonna focus blast or he's gonna go back into Crawlon, which risks getting burned by Lava Plume. And um, Little Big Planet is just gonna click Lava Plume here because he doesn't have a switch into this Megia now. And this is rough. Uh, I feel like there were like some plays earlier where he like. There were like two or three turns where like Little Big Planet played a bit weird. Um, he just kept Glisco in on everything. He just went hard Glisco. Well, I guess he didn't value his Glisco. You can also say that. But that threw me off. And now he healing wish, which was a bit weird to me. So yeah. Anyway, Crawlin is gonna click um, Aqua Jet here, I think. Aqua Jet? He goes hard Heracross. Why? Heracross gets to it, girl, dude. Hello? He needed Heracross, I think. Now he loses for sure. I mean... Eternum can sack his Megina right here. No, Megina was healing wished back, right? He can just go hard Megina, yeah. It's not even a sack since he healing wished it's back healthy now. Um, I guess Pursuit... <laughs> he might try to Pursuit, yeah, but like... I guess you can stay in if you want to predict the Pursuit. Yeah, yeah, at this point he also wins with Megina. He also wins with Megiana right, right, right. He doesn't have to switch hard into it. Yeah, he can just Aqua Jet again, I guess, as he does do that. And he pursues trying to break this. Exactly. In case he tries to do that, he could just Aqua Jet again. And even if he killed him there with like Knock Off or Ice Will Crash, he could then set up with Megina afterwards. And then he would he would still have to hit a Focus Blast versus Heatran. Though, no, his Tangros, I think, can also live a Lava Plume, even though the AV got knocked, because it's only Lava Plume, it's not Magnus Storm. So I think Tangros could have also still um, helped and quaked the trend, so he might not even have to hit a Focus Blast. He might have been able to pull it off with um, just T-Build into Earthquake from, ta from Tang, depending on uh, um, depending on if the Weaver was still alive. If the Weaver was still alive, then he might have had to hit a Focus Blast to kill the trend for sure. So because otherwise, um, obviously, we well can beat the tank down. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, a bit confused about some turns here. So if anyone knows exactly what was going on, who predicted what, just let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys with more tournament coverage probably tomorrow, maybe later, probably tomorrow. And peace out, friends.